Good morning, family and friends, brothers and sisters, and all my subs. Sergeant OCD here. Uh, today I want to talk to you about poison ivy. Um, I was out last week, and I got it here, here, and on my elbow. I've stopped it from spreading, but um, I got to thinking maybe if I'm out in the field, um, I should... Um, see if I can make a remedy uh, so you know like I like I do I go through videos and try to repeat them um, to make sure that they will actually work for you um, one of the things I do want to show you that you may not know is you've seen poison ivy probably laying on the ground you've seen it in small vines but you may have not seen it in these large vines um, I see them all the time. The only reason I know about it is because I was cutting some trees down and I couldn't get poison ivy before. So I was cutting some trees down and <laughs> all the dust was going around my neck and around my uh, love handle and I didn't have a shirt on and I got poison ivy. So <clears throat> what you're going to need is you're going to need to find some um, yarrow and this is from yesterday um, I didn't like the way my video came out yesterday and you're going to want to find some um, some common oh plantain common plantain so what you're going to want to do and you'll you'll notice that I ripped this up at the root just so I could have this little little piece here where the seeds will form and spread. It's in your yard. It's got to be unless you weed and feed. But this yarrow, you really have to go out to the woods or like I did. I found somebody that was growing it, and he gave me part of his plant <clears throat> last year. So I'm trying to get a fire started here. just by using um, wood that's bad, a lot of punk wood in there too. So, <clears throat> I think I should be a little smarter with this. Now this bark is a little wet, but uh, I've got my fire kit out and So the idea is, you know, obviously the ashes for the uh, coals will go down. And this is my second attempt at this. Now this tree right here has got um, poison ivy wrapped around it. Uh, one guy said to cut a section out. So there's no chance of it growing because these roots are growing from the bottom. So, build me a little box fire here and throw another thing in there. Uh, but the idea is to build um get a container and fill this um, about 75% of cut up yarrow and 75% or 25% uh, yarrow uh, plantain and boil it for about 40 to 45 minutes now I tried to boil it for 30 35 minutes because you know they caution you not to uh, burn it too long or not to cook it too long I say burn but I actually mean cook Let's see what this is gonna do um, so first time 30 35 minutes and this is regular olive oil and it came out with just a green tint but what I actually wanted 
is a little greener. So I boiled this for 40, 45 minutes. Now, you don't want it, and I say boil again, I mean cook it. So then the next thing is to add beeswax. None of yours, sorry. You can't say beeswax without saying none of yours. Um, what I'm trying to find here is a stick because I didn't stir it, so it, all this beeswax is, is sti sitting on top. Um, not good. Hopefully this will burn my little box fire down um, into a fire. So um, most people just stay away from it, which is pretty smart. Um, I'm a smart guy, but I'm still going to go out to the woods. So the other thing is always use the same gloves. Now you can use those nitrate gloves great and then take them off properly like a um, medical technician would meaning um, if these were nitrate gloves so what you want to do is pinch it here and then pull it off inside out and then grab that in here and then pull this over it and then you discard it so I'm not about showing you how to do things you know, you can take them off, you can use them, you can not use them, it's up to you. But, um, I'm at the point now where I need to boil this for a little bit. Um, not cook it. Now, I want it up, the, my water level up to here. And it's not quite there. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit to this, waiting for my fire. Um... Now you can do this over a campfire or whatever. I just happened to, I like this little thing um, that I built. And this is basically, it's a silverware, silverware holder. Um, stainless, of course. And then I cut off some skewers that I can rest this on. I blew it out. But I could rest some skewers on here. Um, also, I mean, I always keep a kit here. Um, you're trying to get the fire going with wet wood, which could be very possible since I have um, a lot of humidity here. I mean, it was 95 degrees yesterday. I had to, I had a meeting to go to. And so that's alcohol, um, like 95% isopropyl alcohol, just trying to saturate the wood so I can do that. Um, but I keep this in my kit along with, this is my cooking kit, along with a screen for the top which you really need to put that on first. Because um, yesterday I was trying to put it on when it was hot and I couldn't do it. Um, and then I've got a little alcohol stove that I made just in case I'm out in the woods and I can't start a fire or I want to be covert about it because most of the places I found out I could go, there's no fires. So um, the stove I feed from this side I just start it right here, just to start it right here. And oddly enough, my log is so hard that it's not burning. Now, um, when you're dealing with poison ivy, most people, like I said, leave it alone. You never want to burn it. If you burn it and you breathe in that smoke, guess where all those oils are going to go into your body? So you never really want to try to breathe smoke because... You don't know what contagion's in the smoke. So hopefully this will get going here. I think it will this time. But uh, other things, I mean, you can use things off the shelf like Cortisone and, and Calmine Lotion and, and Tecmu and 
Um, but what I found is the best uh, remedy for that constant bugging of itching is scrubbing it with soapy uh, cold water um, with a rag, you know. And I, I clean it for about a minute. It kind of, you know, I guess gets everything off of there, relieves the pain, um, the constant itching. You know, and I do this whenever it just gets so bad I want to scratch it. Now me, you know, just like any other kid, they're going to scratch it. Um, and that's what I do. I get to the point where I just want to scratch it. So, I don't, you're not supposed to, so don't scratch it. Don't do like I do. Um, and I try not to do it. I try to just go and scrub it off. If I don't have a rag, you know, I use my hands. Um, so it uh, it kind of gets all that oil off of there. Um, they say to use cold water, and I've been having luck with cold water. I think uh, hot water will open up your pores too much. So there's that. Uh, so and when you're out in the field or out in the woods. It's a good idea to have sleeves and gloves. I get poison ivy because my gloves go up to here and I don't wear sleeves because I don't like to, you know. Get down here. All my field gear that is in my bug out bag, um, I do have a long sleeve and that's what I would wear if I had to. I have to wear long sleeves at work, so I don't like to wear them when I'm not working. Yeah, that's good. To go. So, <clears throat> what you want to do is get a fire, and now I don't want this fire to go too high because my canvas tarp is about two and a half feet away from that. So that's about the highest I want to go. So I'm going to try to push this down a little bit. Thread my needle here. Um, Good thing about these these um, sewer holders is they have holes everywhere. So I can go ahead and not put that on because I got a stick in there. Now eventually this log will burn all the way through and then it'll become one of those uh, tower torches. So the other thing I could use is get this guy out of the way. This, put it up right, and it goes through the hole. Yeah, and I, I do apologize about the audio. I didn't know um, that my audio wasn't coming through that well. I mean, some people said something, but I make sure that one camera's on uh, plus 10 dB, and I have a mic right above me for my uh, GoPro, and we're gonna see how that works out. Hopefully one, uh, one or the other will work. Okay, the water on there. So I'm gonna put this in here. Wait for this to boil. Um, actually, just heat up. So this uh, ah, shut up. Um, that's what happened yesterday too. Hopefully, your fire gets hot enough. But I am going to put a little bit more in here, so maybe a lot more. Just because you know they had bricks. On wood. They had bricks of it on on YouTube, and um, I can't find them. Um, but I got this at Walmart for two and a half dollars. See if it'll work. So all that, all this is for is to thicken it up so it's, you know, a salve. And I know it's spelled S-A-L-B-E and it's pronounced salve, not salve. Um, when somebody mispronounces something on YouTube, um, I tend to lose credibility with them. So I take everything that they say with a grain of salt. 
Uh, it's just, um, you know, the Bible talks about <clears throat> during the end of times, which is what we're in, that we're going to have um, increased intelligence. Now with AI and, and smartphones and everything like that, we do have increased intelligence. The problem we don't have is um, the quality of people. Uh, I guess it's not the people themselves, it's the education, since that's controlled. Um, not supposed to be because it's a free country, but it's controlled to a point where um, that there's a curriculum they have to follow, the teachers have to follow. So they're kind of stuck. Um, you know, not the people's fault, but it is society's more so. Um, I blame the government because the government is corrupt. A lot of people are getting um, booted off of YouTube for saying our president's name and, and negative things, so I'm not going to say anything, but they did close the cocaine caper in the White House, and they didn't find find where it came from, so we're going to leave that at that. Um, I don't want to get booted off of YouTube yet. Um, I've been on for about a year, and um, I'm about five episodes, four or five episodes away from my hundred episodes. Um, I did re redo four of them um, just because I didn't realize copyrights. Um, I was using songs I got made for YouTube, but I didn't identify who and where it came from. So I got a copyright violation, four of them, on my first couple of videos. So I redid them without the audio. Um, so, you know, there's a lot to learn on this stuff. And I, I don't want to get booted off because I'm not looking for monetary value. I'm not looking for likes or friends or anything. I just want to um, let my family know this is how you do this stuff. And as much as I know about Yarrow and... Um, plantain, which is stuff I use just about every week. Um, I know this is going to work, so I'm going to dump some of this water out so it doesn't kill my fire again. Alright, <clears throat> so it's right at the level that I need to be. Um, the new beeswax, none of yours, I put back, or I put in there, is melting. So, it shouldn't take too long to do this. Jeez Louise, buddy. More water out. Um, but anyway, don't want to get booted off of YouTube or, or have my, have my uh, channels or my, my videos blocked. Um, that's just not what I'm here for. I am here to talk about the Bible. Um, I was thinking about all kinds of different verses, um, but you guys know it's close to the end of the times. I mean, look at all the wars and rumors of wars. You know, Israel's fighting with Hezbollah again, and, um, which has been going on forever, but it's more intense. Obviously, uh, Ukraine has got a counteroffense with uh, Russia, and... China is provoking us, um, so we may be going to war with China, and uh, they just announced that they are um, activating um, selective service and um, the inactive reserves, which is what I was in until 2014. So, um, those guys, and it's 3,000 selected to go over to Ukraine. So, we're going to have American airmen in Ukraine. 
So I'm sure Putin is not going to like that. Um, you know, stop doing crazy things and the world will be a, in a new place, but you're always going to have crazy people. So look out for that. Um, stock up. Stock up on ammo. Stock up on food. Gas mask, filters. Um, everything you would need for uh, basically a EMP, nuclear war, even, even you know, uh, Yellowstone erupting because that would put a cloud over this place. Nothing would grow. Um, it took a while getting back to this. Yesterday, it took a while for this to set up. So I'm just going to get it melted again. Bring it out of the pot. So this glove, I picked up that with. <clears throat> so, I'll, and I, I'm right-handed, so that's what I do. I also have a machete over here that is strictly for poison ivy and a saw for poison ivy. But yeah, this thing is easy to make. All you got to do is. Uh, put a mount on the bottom. I have a mount for it um, that I can take out or I can put uh, bolts in there to get it up off the ground if I wanted to. But I wanted to see how it would fit in this hole. Basically I was trying to put it in here yesterday and it uh, was not behaving. Um, so when you are around poison ivy and yes, my table's still unstable. Um, when you're around poison ivy, make sure, if you can't scrub up, use wet wipes to scrub up, use um, hand sanitizer, use something that you have with you in your hiking kit to come, that you're gonna come across it, so. Um, it's still the same color, it's a little off. But I feel very confident this is going to work. Um, I've got some things to do, so I'm going to come back later and see how this thing sets up. It should set up fine. So, but this is my know. consistency. So it's uh, it's curing, curing. Um, but my goal is to get it into here. So before I put it into here, I want to make sure that it's completely solid. Um, all right, so I know I didn't show you how to cook this stuff. So I'm going to tell you real quick. Um, cut up 75% yarrow, fill, fill it to here, and then 25% um, plantain. Um, what I did is I had plantain in one and yarrow in the other and um, cooked it down a little bit, and then I mixed the two. That's why I had extra oil. Uh, that's how I got this much oil because I really only had about you know less than a third so after you cook it um, you're gonna want to add your beeswax none of yours and um, after that you're just gonna have to cook it a little bit let it settle cook and settle cook settle until you get the consistency once you get the consistency that you like um, then all you have to do is reproduce it out in the field it can be done over an open fire it's just you have to watch it i mean you can't walk away for a second because if that thing starts with the rolling boil and it cooks it too much too fast you're going to lose all your medicinal purposes so um other than that uh, i went to go cut this big big uh, piece of ivy off and it broke off up top so the reason I'm cutting the re roots down at the bottom is because I want everything up up top to die now I can see the vine over here um, where the leaves are, are drooping like uh, this leaf these leaves they're drooping so I know it's dead up right to that point and uh, I probably will make a concoction um, my own way 
because uh, I was mowing and weed eating and uh, <laughs> I noticed more poison ivy than I want to have and I don't want my dog to get it so other than that hey that's the way you do it um, I saw I saw it done it's it's not that it, I would give it about a five on on easiness um, because there are some things that you can do to mess it up like this is my second batch that I got this far um, my first batch um, I didn't cook it long enough and I threw it away so I had to go harvest just about the rest of my yarrow I left the um, flowers on my yarrow because I wanted to spread in my um, foraging garden uh, I've got things in there that I don't want so I got to take care of that but uh, you know learn how to do this stuff now and you'll see I keep keep uh, notes in my phone because that's handy but I also have books you know I probably have seven or eight books that I use that give me all the same information on how to do all this and you know if it's not in there I'll put notes in there um, there are probably around 30 to 50 plants 40 I know are around here that can help you medicinally for um, for heart conditions UTIs help with your blood help with your stomach you gotta learn this stuff because there may be a, a time very soon where we're not gonna have a pharmacy we're not gonna have um, a way to even get to work and they're talking about trying to take our firearms now well you know the saying on that you're gonna have to pull it from my cold dead hands because uh, I'm not you're not disarming me you're not you can do what you're gonna do with the government and turn this into a socialist country um, but you're gonna have a lot of people rebelling and I'm not one to rebel but I'm not one to get stepped on either so with that I'm gonna end this um, God bless you guys take care hey learn how to do this stuff you know right now all everything's out you know all the summer plants are out which is you know that's when the time you make salves and tinctures and things like that because you don't have it over the winter I just found a whole bunch of yellow wood sorrel and I think I'm gonna do that next week for my video but God bless you guys, take care, and I'll catch you all on the flip side.